this hat I got. I stole it from a Tom Petty concert. I went backstage and it was so like thrown out of our minds, right? And we went backstage and it was there was a lot of props there. And I, got, I grabbed this hat from the Tom Petty concert. <laughs> it has a kind of a feel about it, you know, and you, you, it has vibes from Tom, Tom Petty. And it, it's like, she was an American girl, keep going through my head, raised on promises. So I'm a girl of many hats. Consider yourself at home. <clears throat> Consider yourself one of the family. Because we've taken to you so strong. Well, I'm sure that we're going to get along. Now, I see a feel it's morphing. It's morphing into a kind of like a Marilyn Manson-esque, you know, the beautiful people. The beautiful people. The beautiful people. The beautiful people. It's all relative to the size of your steeple. You can't tell the forest from the trees. I was sitting at home. Threatening the kids, yeah. When I looks out through the hole in the wall, and I sees this tank pull up, and one of Dinsdale's boys gets out of it and uh, chains me to the back of the tank, and he takes me for a scrape around the Dinsdales. <laughs> well, Doug is there with Dinsdale in a conversation pit with Charles Paisley, the baby crusher, two Hollywood producers, and a guy they call Kierkegaard, and he just sat there butting the heads with whippets. He says to me, well, I hear you've been a naughty boy, Clement. Then he saws my leg off, rips my nostrils open, and pulls out my liver. And then I told him, well, my name's not Clement. And then he loses his temper and nailed my head to the floor. And he also nailed my wife's head to a coffee table. He was a cruel man, but he was fair. <laughs> I'll say that about Dinsdale. Wow, 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 wow.